transport and urban traffic transport, sorry, and urban planning of Curacao. Uh, Mr. Koji, sorry, Deputy Secretary General, uh, Jerry Lambuzo of uh, WMO, Koji Karar uh, from the WMO Secretary. And at this point, I'd like to acknowledge our uh, incoming chairman of the National Hurricane Committee, uh, Dr. Rick Now, who is seated uh, at the back. I've seen uh, uh, many new faces uh, to this Hurricane Committee, which shows the changing of the guard for many of us. And uh, it is good, and we welcome you to our August body where we are sure that we will help along the way. 2012 was a very interesting year. We had 19 uh, uh, named storms, of which 10 of them became hurricanes and two major hurricanes. Uh, Dr. Martin said earlier, uh, just before uh, he introduced me, that Sandy, in particular, wreaked havoc in the United States and it also passed through the Bahamas, even though our damage was not as significant as the, the United States. What is uh, common is the fact that there were loss of lives in the Bahamas as in the United States related to Hurricane uh, Sandy. But I must say, I am most pleased because if anyone, and all of us meteorologists who observed the track of uh, Sandy, we realize that the National Hurricane Center during the past, uh, the previous five years, have uh, improved their forecast track tremendously. So the forecast was really on target. I mean, I had a little uh, uh, doubt in the first instance of Sandy moving across over part of Cuba and still maintaining their intensity to damage the Bahamas. Because I was saying, well, look, it goes over there. It's obviously going to lose its punch, and we should be safe. But the hurricane center was right on target. We heeded the warning, we worked closely with them, as most of our meteorological uh, services throughout the, the region, and we were able to minimize our loss. This 34th, uh, 35th hurricane committee meeting is here to bring us together once again to improve the warning system that we have in place. And I'm sure we can do it with our able leadership, uh, Dr. Rick now, who I'm sure will guide us through the process. And we have uh, some of the, the veterans in this business. Uh, uh, and I must mention his name, uh, Mr. Tyrone Alexander. Uh, oh, he will be a voice here for the newcomers to this uh, body. Uh, you will hear him time and again. And then I have another uh, distinguished uh, person, Dr. Jose Rivera, who has guided us, I mean, almost from the time I uh, joined the system, which would have been years ago. So with that, I'd like to thank the government of uh, Curacao and the minister for being present here this morning, Dr. Mahdi and his staff for the excellent arrangement that they have from which we can work. And I wish us a very, very fruitful outcome in our deliberations during these next few days. Thank you very much.